previously on MasterChef Australia. Georgia vied for immunity. I want it desperately. Against Melbourne's Young Chef of the Year. Josh! The broth was brilliant. That is perfect. But against world-class competition, Good fish. the pin remained as elusive as ever. Well From what I saw of Georgia's performance, the other guys better watch out. Tonight, communication is paramount. It's a relay challenge with a twist. Scary, really scary. They'll cook one by one. The handover starts now. Chinese whisper style. What are we making? Great teamwork. Yes. Will produce terrific food. It's amazing what you've achieved. You absolutely nailed it. But straight too far from the script. I've changed the dish. What are you doing? And the consequences no. could be devastating. I have no idea what has happened. It's a nightmare. Marco Wick has been fantastic for all of us, um, and for me personally, you know, he's such an amazing chef, um, but he's also a great teacher. I'm excited. I'm really excited. So it's really just a matter of trying to listen to what he has to say and learn as much from him as we can. We walk through the doors and the kitchen is completely different to how we've seen it before. There are four benches set up and we walk straight down the middle just wondering what's happening. It's like walking down a gauntlet. I was just saying to George, it's like a classroom of kids. You come in, you're excited to see the teacher, maybe? Marco? Yes. It's been a good week so far. It's not bad being an apprentice, I reckon, especially when the teacher is Marco Pierre White. Marco Pierre White's been amazing. He's this entity in the kitchen, and he's so inspirational. I've loved Marco Week so far. It's been great. And it's always a little unexpected, isn't it? You walk in, what's the challenge? I wonder. The secret to today's challenge is communication. And it is a team challenge. And this one is an absolute beauty. Every team challenge that I've been in so far has resulted in me being in elimination. So I'm really nervous. Right, today we're looking for four teams. Remember your numbers? One, two, three, four. George organises the teams by counting one to four along the line of contestants. Uh, whichever number you've got, that's what team you're in. I'm in the best team ever because I have Ashley, Reynold, uh, Jesse and Billy and I think they're all awesome cooks. Next job is to pick a captain. Right now, come on. I've already done it. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah. I am really happy to be captain today. I've played a lot of football in my time and I know that thing with a team is everyone needs to be working together to achieve the one goal and hopefully we can do that and win this challenge. Okay, yeah. We nominate Billy as our captain today. Billy? Okay, done. I think she'll be really great. She's really calm and collected and she's going to do a really good job. So I suppose you want to know what you're going to be doing? Yes. yes. Okay, each team has to cook just one dish. Sounds so straightforward. <laughs> But this is a Marco challenge. So you'll be cooking one at a time in a relay. So when we say communication is important, we mean it is important. Because here's the detail. You've got 75 minutes to cook, broken up into 15 minute chunks where each of you take the captain's idea and translate it into their dish. 
then you have to tag the next team member and you have 45 seconds to transfer that detail about that dish so they can take over and they get 15 minutes to cook. You get it? Yeah. There's no pen or paper, so it's all verbal. The only way the next member of your team will know what to do is if you tell them. If you don't tell them, they've got no idea where they're going, what they're doing. And it will get worse as it gets passed on. Believe me. 45 seconds to hand over in between each cook is no time at all. Definitely, there could be some Chinese whispers going bad today for sure. So you've got access to the pantry behind us. You can cook whatever you want. And while this one person is cooking, everybody else is in the herb and vegetable garden. The losing team will face elimination tomorrow. So a lot is riding on this challenge. I definitely don't want to face an elimination, so I'm going into this thinking that yeah, I'll, I'll do anything to avoid it. Communication is paramount. And without it, you're doomed. Through communication, you lead your team. You share and you express your knowledge. One last thing. A good chef cooks for others. Work it out. Thank you. Right, captains, stay put. Everybody else, off to the garden. We don't have any time to plan with Jared. We don't have any feedback to give him. No suggestions, absolutely nothing. We just get whisked away from him and yeah, that's it. It's all left up to Jared. Captains, you've got a big job ahead of you. You're not only starting the cook, but you're also deciding what the dish is. That's right, no recipe today. You grab the ingredients and you start the cook, all within your 15 minutes. You got it? Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now. Good luck. There's a lot of responsibility being captain today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got to choose something really carefully. Some avocados. Right. It's got to be something to impress Marco and the judges. But if I don't pick something that everyone can cook and that everyone's happy with, it's going to just give us problems all the way down the line. If I make the wrong choice here at the start, then we will go straight through to elimination. Pick a dish that everybody knows. Everyone knows. In two words, you can say what it is. Keep it simple. Give the next person three clear bits of information that they can pass on. Spaghetti bolognese, beef, celeriac puree, salad, whatever. Yeah. The more you put on your bench, the more you confuse the next person. Yeah. Today I want to cook a simple dish. Cooking a mussel broth is something that everyone will be able to follow through. So as a captain, I feel like I have done my job. What are you cooking, Jared? Uh, mussel, tomato, and coconut broth. Right. Uh, and basil. I love simplicity. Yeah, I just wanted something that, you know, it's easy that we can keep communicating down the line. Hopefully we can build enough flavour in it. It's actually, when you cook the mussels, the broth that comes out of it is absolutely delicious, yeah, isn't it? I really think if we pull this dish off and make a massive punchy flavour in that broth, I really think it could be a winning dish. The hardest part of this whole thing is coming up with a concept without being able to speak to your team members because they're all sitting outside. I love that I'm not picking the dish that I'm being told what to cook. I love being told what to cook. You haven't got time to think too much, so I decided lobster medallions in lobster bisque with some braised leeks. I figure Marco's going to love lobster. If there's enough flavour in that bisque, Maybe it'll be OK. Guys, five minutes down already of your 15 minutes. That means only 10 to go. Come on, hurry along. I've done a couple of good cooks in the last week with Marco, so I feel pretty confident. Um, today I'm cooking a stuffed and rolled chicken thigh with a fennel and carrot puree and a chicken jus. 
I'm just going to try and have it as organised as possible so that the rest of the team can pick up from where I've left off. I decide to categorise all of my ingredients. I've got my puree, I've got the stuffing sorted and hopefully the cook will run smoothly for each person. Remember, the first leg of this challenge can be the foundation to either success or failure. Five minutes to go. I've decided to make Mexican corn tacos. I'm really familiar with the ingredients. It'll save on prep time and make things easier at handover. To start with, I lay out all the elements for my filling. Today I'm going with some um, butterfly prawns with uh, lime salt, a beautiful sort of salsa style salad with some tomatoes, lime, coriander, chilli and uh, a lime aioli. I do this a lot at home and I love, love the Mexican flavours. To make corn tacos is really simple. It's just a mixture of water and corn masa flour. I run to the pantry to grab the masa flour and there's a problem. There's none on the shelf. This is a disaster. You cannot make corn tacos without corn masa flour. I should have checked this before I started. I think we're in trouble. Your 45 second handover starts now. Feels like 15 minutes is gone in no time. We're gonna do a mussel coconut, um, sorry, coconut milk, tomato, basil broth. A uh, lobster bisque. Yep, okay. Probably the fastest 45 seconds of my life. I'm yep. doing a rolled and stuffed chicken thigh, cool. okay? Yeah. Um, five beautiful prawn yep. tacos. Yep. Lime, salt, chilli sauce, lime aioli. And beautiful salsa and tortillas. salad. What do you need me to do? Um, maybe get, do the tortilla mix so it can yep. have a rest. Bugger about it. No massa flour to make some tortillas. Okay. So that okay. was my initial yep. thought. Hang on a minute. So how am I supposed to make corn tacos without massa? What Two, do you need me to do? One, one. stop talking. Change over. Come on. Captains with me, please. Captain's with me. I cannot believe I've made such a simple mistake. So we're serving Mexican corn tacos without the taco. Not really sure what I'm going to do. My heart just sinks. To make crunchy corn tacos, you need massa harina flour, and there isn't any in the pantry. I'm starting to panic. What am I going to do? This is this is not what I wanted. Matt Preston leads us captains away from the cook and he's taking us to a secret room somewhere out the back. Oh. <laughs> and you'll notice that we've set up a little TV screen so you can see exactly how your communication's going across. Okay. Turns out we're going to be watching the whole cook from behind this wall. Don't know how I'm going to deal with this. Oh, I feel terrible for Jamie. I've handed a dish over to him for which we're missing a core ingredient. How can you make a taco dish without tacos? Tacos are a major part of this dish. Without them, it's just a mess of ingredients. So I'm going to try and make a tortilla with plain flour. I've only made flour tortillas once, and it was a long, long time ago, so I don't remember the recipe at all. I'm just going to have to completely wing it. I'm just praying that it's going to work. So the challenge today is like a cooking relay. Each of us has 15 minutes to continue cooking a dish that's been started by the captain. When we hand over the dish to the next person, we only have 45 seconds to explain to them what the dish is and what needs doing. The losing team goes straight into elimination. Remember guys, you can't afford to waste one minute and it's about keeping the clarity of that idea. Five minutes down, 10 to go. It is like watching sport. It's way more intense than watching sport. <laughs>